Well, well. What have we here? Welcome to my new series, the One For All Review. I am your host, Real Estate, and we are playing One For All, where we all play the same champion. I'm a few days late to the party, but I wasn't sure how I wanted my video format to look, and uh, I've also been very busy. I bought a house, I had a second child, and I lost my job. So, if you want to join my channel as a member for the low price of $2.99 a month, you will get early access to videos, cute little badges and emojis, and as my channel grows, I can give you guys more perks and even do giveaways and stuff. Well, enough about that crap. I have a big video for you. A big video. It's a chunky, chunky boy. My team is playing as Maokai, and we got a very interesting matchup against another Hyper CC tank class champion called Leona. Now, uh, as you've noticed, I had to walk to mid lane. We cannot cannon there like Taylor Swift anymore. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. And, uh, you might have heard of her, uh, Leona, not Taylor Swift. Her passive marks opponents with her spells, which gives her allies extra damage on them. She has a mid-range root, two stuns, one of them is a slow if you aren't bullseyed by it, and she has a resistance buff that boosts her resistances, and if that isn't enough, she has some of the fastest cooldowns in the game. So we've got the Q down to 2 seconds, and the R at 24 seconds. We want Mercury trains. Will our arboreal contender be enough to crack the shield of Daybreak? And the Zenith Blade, both wielded by the Holy Warrior of the Solari that is Leona, defender of Mount Targon, with her golden armor and eyes burning with the power of the celestial aspect. Maokai is a tree. He throws seeds with E, they create sight like a ward, but attacks whoever comes near. It's uh, kind of like an attack ghost poro. Throw it in a bush so it can do like three times as much damage. Maokai has a root, duh, he's a tree. But what makes this root special is that he swims through the ground in a mid-range attack and becomes untargetable in the process. That's his W. Pair that with his Q, which is a big bonk. A big ol' bonk. A punch right on the lip. It's a knock, knock back. So if you combo your W, root your opponent, and then bonk them with your Q, you can control where they go. Do this with the small orchard of Maokai's and your team fight will basically be you planting your opponent under a turret. RIP. Here is me against five Leonas. One of them is late. Oh look, I have friends too. It's not a five tree orchard, but I'm still going to do that thing I said we can do. Did you see that? W into a Q? Told you I could do Turret it. Shot. Got him. His ultimate is a wide, long range, slow moving wave of roots. It can root multiple opponents. What can I say? He's a tree. But none of this matters quite as much as his passive, which allows his basic attacks to heal him and deal additional damage. Anytime he uses. See how I healed just there? See? I did it. See how I did it and healed just there? Anytime he uses a spell or gets hit by one, the cooldown is reduced. We are outnumbered. Get off of me. I legit can't be killed. Oh my god. Oh. Now with this in mind, let's take a look at what kind of runes and items would make the most sense with this ability. Grasp of the Undying may seem like the obvious choice, and it is, especially for this matchup. Spending more time in combat means that you gain more health for the rest of the game, and it gives you a heal and allows you to deal bonus damage based on your health. Maokai has skills that scale off of max health, so that makes this a powerful tool for you. Aftershock is also good, but since I wasn't able to use it this game, I can't really speak to it. A good pairing with this is Demolish, Conditioning, and Overgrowth. And I'll tell you why. Demolish lets you do damage to turrets based on how much max health you have. Font of Life is a good second choice because it allows your team to heal champions you mark with it, but the amount is so insignificant while we have items and Maokai's passive to give us plenty of heals. Conditioning requires you to wait. 
but the resistance scaling is worth it. If you want early game defense, go play someone else, something else, or take bone plating. It falls off late game though. Overgrowth gives you health when shit dies around you. Vitalize might be a good second choice as it adds a bonus to healing, but I'd really rather have that extra health to begin with, so that's why I pick Overgrowth for my tanks. Lesser runes are Legend Tenacity, because I don't like sitting still long, and Last Stand, because I like the Berserker concept of getting stronger on the brink of death. Period. No other choices for this. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about items. Heartsteel comes first. It needs to stack, and it will stack more than ever in an all-out punch-out between two teams of tanks. Seriously, we ran out of mana 20 minutes ago. Maokai has abilities that scale off of health, and it is important for his playstyle. What else do we need? The order your items come in and the reasons you will need them can vary. But essentially, and especially in the case of a Maokai versus Leona battle of attrition, that means who lasts the longest, you will want to make sure you have items that will allow you to survive being stunned for a prolonged Aww. period of time. Damn, I'm using a lot of mana. Yeah, we just got done with our Earth, and now we have to watch our mana reserves. Start that tier. Thimble Winter will give health based on mana. It will also give shields based on mana. When you immobilize an opponent, and Maokai has three abilities that do just that. It also gives you mana. By the way, my budget and patience are running out for this video, so look down here to see what items I'm buying. One of your opponents could end up getting ahead in Heartsteel stacks and have like 2k more health than you. Well, we offset that with the healing items that we make. The new Unending Despair gives a heal based on time and combat. And I mean, think about it, it's Maokai versus Leona, so we're gonna be in combat for a long time. We're gonna make great use of this item. And while Leona does in fact have some physical damage, turrets will deal lots of physical damage, so don't feel like you're wasting a slot with armor. The effects are worth it. Let's talk about boosting your healing even further. Leona does magic damage primarily, so in your MR wallet, you'll want Spirit Visage. I can afford this. This gives magic resist and also a juicy buff to your healing abilities. It boosts healing from our passive, healing received from allies, and also from our items, such as Unending Despair. The biggest brawl of them all. I don't think I can die. Oh, this one right here. This one right here. Come on, give me the bonk. Aw, oh, man. The rest is up to you. I personally tried out Titanic Hydra. All my shopping scenes seem to happen when I'm dead. As it gives me attack damage based on health, and I was sure that most of these Leonas weren't wearing that much armor against our magical forest. It was also great for wave clear. It was also great for wave clear. It was also great for wave clear.
Speaking of wave clear, the new Hollow Radiance is amazing. Minions that die explode. Everything that dies explodes. It serves as a magic resist version of Sunfire Aegis and allowed me to deal constant magic damage to everything around me. Fantastic. And fighting isn't that hard. Most of Maokai's abilities require you to be pretty close to your opponent and since we were up against Leona, the fighting usually came to us. I'm just going to overwhelm them with minions. Yeah, they don't win this. This is it! Very close. You thought it was over, didn't you? Can't move. Thirteen seconds done. You too, Mal guy. They can't end. Oh, he's going for it. Can he make it? Hee hee hee. I gotta stop this. It's kind of cool. I like this weapon, the Hollow Radiance. That's nice. Someone back dooring over here. Oh, we got her. She's going in for help. Overall, it was a pretty even match until late game when oh, our passive grass. healing and bonus damage snowballed harder than Leona could keep up with. Here we go. In terms of crowd control, it was also somewhat evenly matched, but Maokai has more control Here. thanks to his Q, making it possible to push opponents to or from so turrets. Big. I give Maokai 5 saplings out of 5. It will be hard to find a champion that can beat this wood. All right, let's take a look at these stats now. As you can see, these numbers are phenomenal. I did 118,000, but I mean... That pales in comparison to the 194,000 damage that this Leona did. And these Leonas did like almost twice as much as we did. So why were we winning? And uh, if we take a look down here, actually, let me turn this off real quick. Let's look at our healing that we did. We did a lot more healing than the Leonas did. But that can't even hold a candle to our self-mitigated damage. And this 329,304 damage that I uh, prevented from happening to me. Look, look, at, uh, look at how this stacks to... Let me uh, pull this up first, actually. 
Uh, so damage to champions, you see these big numbers, right? But if you look at my self-mitigated, huge. Add the healing done. So that's how we were able to win. Last but not least, take a look at our damage taken. Uh, it's 200,000 damage I took. Uh, so I prevented a lot um, with like shields and healing and stuff. So that concludes my review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the new outro. Peace.